almost every single superbike that Kawasaki makes comes equipped with a RAM air intake system. And they claim a gain of about 10 brake horsepower. If you do a quick Google search, you can find a lot of aftermarket RAM air intake systems for motorcycles and for cars as well. So what is this RAM air intake and how does it work? Is it really worth investing for? We are going to find the answers to all those questions in this video. So the theory behind a RAM air intake is quite simple and kind of similar to a turbocharger. The main purpose of a RAM air intake is to increase the horsepower. And it does that by reducing the velocity of intake air by increasing the diameter of intake ducting. This in turn increases the static pressure of the intake air. Theoretically, the static pressure of the air inside the plenum or the air box should be more than that of the atmospheric air. The resulting intake charge will be denser, cooler and contain more oxygen and fuel, thus causing a bigger explosion inside the combustion chamber, thereby producing more power. But the increase in intake air pressure is really small. In fact, it is minuscule when compared to a turbocharger. At lower speeds, there is almost no gain. It is estimated that in order for the RAM air intake to start working properly at its full potential, you will have to travel at a speed of at least 160 km per hour or 100 miles per hour. Even at that point, the boost gain is not really significant. It is estimated that at 290 km per hour or 180 miles an hour, a well-designed RAM air intake system can increase the air pressure up to 50 millibar or 0.7 psi. That is a laughable figure when compared to what a turbocharger makes. But it does give the engine a considerable boost in power. According to a test conducted by the Sport Rider magazine, on a Kawasaki ZX9R, they were managed to extract 131 brake horsepower at 267 km per hour with RAM air intake. That is 8 brake horsepower more than what the motorcycle produced when they ran it without any sort of boost to the intake pressure. They also estimated that if the motorcycle manages to do another 30 miles per hour or 48 km per hour, the power gain will rise up to 12.5 brake horsepower. So does the RAM air intake make any sense? If you are a strict commuter or if you like to cruise on the highway on a constant speed, it probably won't. But if you are a person who likes to go stupidly fast on your motorcycle, then it makes perfect sense. 